Welcome to this Corporate Maths video on how to prepare for your GCSE Maths exams coming up in summer 2019. In this video I'm going to look at some of the resources that are either on the website or that are going to be added on very shortly that will help you prepare amazingly well for your Maths exams. So first of all, what's on the website at the minute? Well obviously you've got things like the five a days, the video tutorials, uh, the practice questions, answers for those, and there are things that you might have used as part of your revision already, but what are the things that are really focusing in on the exams this summer? So first of all, we've got the checklists. The checklists are a list of all the topics which you can be tested on for each of the different papers, higher foundation, AQA, Ed Excel, and so on. Uh, we have got in red over here, we've got a list of all the number topics, in blue, the algebra topics, in green in the middle, the geometry topics, and in orange over here, the statistics topics. Um, beside each of the topics, you've got a video number. So if you go into Corporate Maths, that is the video tutorial and the practice questions and the textbook exercise on each of those topics. These checklists are really useful because you can go through spot your strengths and the topics you feel really confident in and the topics that you're less less confident in you can watch the video tutorials do the practice questions you can ask your teacher to do some extra work on those before the exams but it helps you revise strategically and use your time sensibly between now and the GCSE exams as I've said there's they're on the website but they'll also be in the description below Okay, so the next two are quite self-explanatory. We've got the YouTube playlists and the practice papers. Um, in the description below, I'll put links to those. So the YouTube playlists are just playlists of video tutorials for all the topics on the Edexcel Hire, Edexcel Foundation, AQA Hire, AQA Foundation. We've also got the CA ones on there. Um, I'm going to be looking at the OCR and the WJC ones as well in the upcoming weeks. So those are just video playlists which you might want to watch on your phone on your way to school or on a journey, maybe if you're going away over Easter. But they're just video tutorials of all the topics that are included on the exams. Watch them all and you, you'll ace it. <laughs> okay, next we've got the practice papers. On the website there's 12 higher papers and 12 foundation papers. Um, again, if you've done all the AQA, Edexcel, the um, OCR, if you've done all those exams, papers for you know your exam board if you have a look at these papers they are just fresh papers which I've made from scratch so the, the questions won't be repeated so there might just be other papers for you to have a look at which might be useful okay next we've got the next resource which I'm going to be adding on in the next couple of days which is the bit of everything papers the bit of everything papers are big bumper papers of a question on every single topic um, so we've got it looks something like this. There's for the higher one, I think there's over 100 questions. For the foundation, over 130 questions. And it's got a question on every single topic. It's great because it's just practice on the whole curriculum, the whole sort of specification. Um, but it also means that if there's a topic which you struggle on, you can again watch the video on it. You can ask your teacher for more help on that topic. And it just sort of helps you with your preparation for the exams. So those bit of everything papers, they're going to be coming on the next day or two. Answers will be added on as well. And um, they're just sort of another a fantastic resource which you can use preparing for your exams. Okay, next then we've got the challenge papers. The challenge papers are papers which I add on which really are if you've done the, the bit of everything paper and you find that okay and you're looking for something that's a bit harder and um, have a look at the challenge papers. Every single year whenever the exam boards write the papers they put on a couple of curveballs, a couple of questions which are just a bit different than the others which are really aimed to sort of stump stump the students you know to sort of they don't want people getting 100 percent of the papers they want to put on a couple of questions which you know catch people out um these ch uh, challenge papers whenever you have a look at them they will link different topics um it, it's impossible for me to predict what questions are going to come up but it just gives you the idea that you know the exam board or the, the exam writers might take a, a probability question, a bit of algebra, put them together and link different areas of maths or they might just ask questions in a slightly different way. So those challenge papers, if you've done the bit of urban papers and you find those okay, the challenge papers, which again will be added on maybe in the next week or two, and um, they're going to be very useful for part of your revision. Okay, so there are all the resources that are going to be added on before the first GCSE paper. Then we've got the on-scene topics. The on-scene topic papers are, after the first paper happens, uh, teachers get to see it the next day. When I get to see the paper the next day, what I do is I have a look at the questions which haven't appeared yet on the paper. These aren't prediction papers. It's impossible, particularly with three papers, it's impossible for a teacher to predict what you know questions are going to come up. But, you know, for instance, if on the first paper there was no trigonometry, and given trigonometry is a really important topic, there's a good chance that it might appear on paper two or paper three. So what I do is I create a paper, or create on-scene topic papers, uh, which are questions which haven't been tested yet on paper one, which might come up on paper two and paper three. These aren't to form the whole part of your revision, they're just a little sort of bit which I might spend, you know, if I was just spending an hour or two doing those papers, and then just recapping everything as well. But the on-scene topic papers, they're really useful. Again, they'll appear after the first paper happens, 
And yeah, so those are the resources that are either on Corbin Maps at the minute or they're going to be added on the next couple of weeks which will help you prepare for your GCC Maps exams. If you've got any questions or you find anything tricky or you want to get any help on anything, put a comment in the comment below. I'll sort of send links to you or reply to any questions that I can or help out in any way I can. But guys, all the best of luck. As much work as you can put it in eye, it will really pay off whenever the exams come and hopefully you get the grade you want and results there. Okay.